Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Veronica. I am a mom of four. Um, I mostly do cleaning videos, but every once in a while I will pop in. <laughs> What's your name? Lainey. <laughs> and her name is Lainey. I thought I would um, do a nighttime routine with you guys, and I wanted to start off by the first thing we do in the evenings, which right now I'm at pickup, so it's 3.30 in the afternoon, which is kind of early for like a nighttime routine, I know, but um, I thought I'd just show you the whole process of how we come home, unwind, and everything that we do from the time we walk in the door until the time everybody's going to bed. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Give me a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys. How are your legs? Are they freezing off? A little bit. Okay, no need to fight right here. So this isn't really typical of our everyday, but Lainey had fallen asleep in the car, and so I thought I'd just try to carry her to the couch, um, but it didn't last. She was up almost instantly, plus not like anybody's really quiet around here. So yeah, she woke up right away. Did you get some on? Thursday and we're basically out of food at this point every week I go shopping on Sunday or Monday and by Thursday everything's gone so they're eating ice cream for their after-school snack we're always so healthy around here it's really unbelievable So there was about an hour and a half of just free time after this where everybody kind of just ran around and did whatever they wanted. I typically start dinner around 5 or 5.30. Tonight I waited until 5.30 when my husband had gotten home. Never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want. Forever, and I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. So, this is pretty typical. Lainey likes to help me cook dinner basically every single night. I mean, I can't remember the last time she didn't help, so. Um, one day she is going to be a very seasoned cook by the time she has her own kid. you 
I was really tired, so just making some shake and bake pork chops was like the easiest thing because I knew the kids were going to eat it and I wasn't sure how hungry I was, so I wasn't, you know, very particular about what I was making. So it was just quick and easy and it's always good, especially for the kids. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing. I can always make my baked potatoes in the microwave. Um, they turn out so well and it's so much faster. I hate waiting for the oven. And right now I'm just making the cup of iced coffee. I got this blonde rose by accident and it's, it's okay. It's not like the best. I mean, I guess there's two types of people. There's a blonde rose and then there's a dark rose. So it's not the worst. This clip is just hilarious to me. So my husband had fallen asleep on the couch and I woke him up to eat and it just takes him Oh, bless his heart. It takes him forever to get to the table. And I was so impatient that I just went ahead and started praying. And obviously the kids were impatient too because they just started eating in the middle of our prayer. Like they're doing everything they can to like stay focused and they are still like sneaking bites, which is so funny to me. And then my youngest son is going to threaten my older son all while I'm still in the middle of praying. So I have no idea what's going on. And watching this back, I was like almost in tears. Like... <laughs> We need to we need to work on our prayers because something's not happening. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. I had kept my kids out of school all last week because they had flu B, so they were not there the entire week. So we have quite a bit of makeup work to do, which is what we're doing right now. Um, this takes us probably about an hour to an hour and a half every night to try to like pile through some of this work. doing everything I can to get my five-year-old to just relax and pay attention. He cannot focus to save his life, but I'm sitting here repeatedly yelling at him, focus, 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 and it's not doing anything. I end up just laughing because I just, it's hilarious. We can look back someday. So I'm at the phase now where my son is in fourth grade and when he asks for help on his homework, I literally have to go back and relearn like things for myself, like long division. I haven't used long division since 
I don't know. I don't want to. I, I don't even know. But I had to go back and relearn it, and then try to figure it out for him, and then teach him. So. I wash my husband's work clothes every single night. So that's what I'm doing here. Does anybody else notice me searching for the cap that's on the bottle? <laughs> it's been a long day. about 8 30 at night um, I'm gonna go in and start picking out everybody's jammies and making them all go in and brush their teeth and get ready for bed um, right here I'm gonna go ahead and pick out Lainey's jammies she's gonna ask for the watermelon ones and then I'm not gonna be able to find the watermelon shirt and then she's just gonna go back to the ones that I had originally picked out for her and just wear them I will repeat picking out jammies for the kids just for them to say that they don't want the ones that I picked and then go back to pick out ones for themselves ultimately just to go ahead and give in and wear the ones that I picked for them to begin with while the boys get their jammies on I'll go into Glayson's room pause his TV pray with him and um, set a 30 minute timer She just got the most beautiful little bed and she just won't sleep in her room. She just likes to be close to mama and daddy when she sleeps. Um, 
so yeah, this is where she'll go to bed. At this point, I leave her in bed and I go down and I start charging everybody's electronics, their phones, tablets, hoverboards, um, and then I start locking up the house. Normally, Tony locks up the house, but he was dead asleep. Like, he must have had the worst week of work. I don't know, but he is out for the count. Um, right now, I'm just washing my face and I'm using that baby soap that's in the back. Um, because my skin has been breaking out really bad I'm not really sure what's going on so I just wanted something nice and gentle and yeah that's what I'm doing here My evening routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It is about quarter to nine right now. All the kids are in bed. Lainey's in my bed. She's already asleep. I haven't even gotten to turn the lights out yet. So it happens to be Thursday, which my favorite show, Impractical Jokers, is on. And so um, it'll be on in like 15 minutes. So I'm going to go downstairs, start editing today's video and I will have it up for you guys on Friday. You'll see this tomorrow, and I will have a morning routine up for you on Monday. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. I thought I should mention while I'm um, thinking of it that normally my husband's a lot more involved, but he passed out on the couch before dinner, and I woke him up to eat, and then he fell back asleep on the couch. And so I figured like he just, he's still trying to get over the flu. And so he, he has a physically demanding job. So it just takes him longer than anybody else to recover. Plus his immune system's not like the rest of ours. So it just takes him longer. So I thought I'm just gonna just let him sleep. And I just kind of handled everything tonight. So anyways, that's where he was. Like a body of water.